What's good, everyone? This is Dev the Cooler. And this is Ray Bang. And this is JB. And, and welcome, welcome to Slick Talk. Talk. Thank you for doing it right. Yes. Yeah. With a hashtag. hashtag. With a hashtag. Ray been trying to say my hashtag thing for a minute. What you a know hashtag. why? You be forgetting. You trying to know. Oh, damn. I have my hashtag. Really? You be, you know. Stuck on trying to be it's it's our hashtag. Beezy or Beezus. I don't know which one it is. Beezus. Oh, I didn't hashtag. think about that. Oh, what, Beezus? J Beezus. J Beezus. <laughs> he said, no, I'm not going to do it. But this is about to... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's get this episode going. Yeah. Um, so, Ray. Yes. This is about you, to be a good episode. It is. Wait, I, so, wait, this is the question that needs answers mm-hmm. episode. Yes. So, and today it's going to be Ray-based. Turn, so. Yes. yes um, and I do have Ray an announcement. Um, okay. You have an announcement? I do. I do. I do. not know what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, this is going to be my last episode of Slick Talk, y'all. No, yeah. he's leaving. He's us, leaving because he hates us. <laughs> he's leaving us. Uh, I mean, we you know can, that is not I mean, true. We can send your luggage. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I'm just Y'all joking. just gonna let me go out here all shady? <laughs> no, I'm just no. Joking. I mean, no. Of that's, course it's, not. It's this is really, like because this is our baby. This like, is, we, yeah. It, it is. He has literally been probably one of the 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 best things about well both of you guys but have been the best things about doing this it's good and fun to talk and you mm-hmm. know to get us get all get this off our chest and laugh and giggle but just spending this time with you guys every time is definitely is. yeah is. each and ev- each one of you guys and i'm gonna miss it yeah, yeah. i mean you, we yeah. can you always visit oh absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you can have me on as a guest <laughs> Yes. You know, you so just so I mean, oh, we do ahead. just want to clear up before we go ahead and ask you questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, just kind of like to give some give our listeners, our listeners. We don't want the listeners to get confused. There was no drama. Oh yeah, no. Oh, no, 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 nothing no, like no. that. You this know, it was a, no drama. It's an emma, good, amicable. Yes, yes. Is, we're leaving, we're yeah. separating on good terms. Yes. Oh, really, really good terms. <laughs> There's no love and hip hop situation up in here, right? Not at all. Right. And it's but, yeah. sometimes we, you know, we grow and we, you know. But we we we're yeah. gonna. That's why we're gonna we're ask gonna you questions. You yes, <laughs> go ahead and just. I just want to throw that out there because you know people would probably be messing be like, oh, I knew that. I knew somebody <laughs> was gonna leave. Right. Nah, it's not like that, at, not all. that at all. So so what? So first question: mm-hmm. What are your next steps? Like, what are you what are you doing? I mm-hmm. am gonna be investing into my own my own like creative. Uh, like art business. Okay. You know, okay. Um, yes. I'm not going to give any details what I want to do yet. Yeah, um, yeah. But, but big, yeah, it's, it's, I'm trying to take myself seriously as an artist. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then you uh, have some big, also some other big mo- moves and plans. Oh, yeah. And I definitely, um, I'm really working hard on moving to LA. It's mm-hmm. not an easy process because mm-hmm. I got to save up for it. Right. And, um, definitely looking for you know jobs and looking for places to live and everything. So mm. it's gonna be pretty dope. And school, school. I do wanna. Um, I wanna start writing for like my acceptance things and stuff like that. Okay. Right. So uh, as you guys hear this conversation, it'll be more. I mean, it'll explain a lot on why you know he won't be a part of hashtag Slick Talk yeah. anymore because you can just already hear he's going to be investing and doing a lot oh, of yeah. stuff. Yeah, you know, this coming next year, twenty twenty. So going on. excited yeah. for it! I'm, you know, it's bittersweet because I do enjoy um, Slick Talk. I do enjoy mm-hmm. talking to y'all like every yes. week. Mm-hmm. It's been uh, a vibe since it the has. beginning. We right. literally has started off. With the wind down. I the even enjoy down. listening to the episodes. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> He's like, I was like, no, I wasn't even yes. there. When I first started, I I hated the sound of my voice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was cringing in some things I, I used to say. Right. But now I'm really comfortable and like, yeah. like okay, I said it, whatever. Right. It's Absolutely. my opinion, so you can be mad. Absolutely. But I've grown a lot and so I'm a fan what? of the show. Yes. Yeah. You better stay a fan. And I so will stay, stay a fan. fan. <laughs> you gotta still be promoting to be like my homies. They have the coolest in JB. I will. Got a podcast called because Hashtag Because if Talk. I don't, JB's definitely going to point oh, me out. Oh, you know I will. <laughs> I wouldn't be me if I didn't get a little True. messy. True. No, I'm Shut up. I'm just joking. Um, he so, messy. So what, <laughs> so what art, like what projects are you working on right now? Like, like are you writing? I, know, I am. I, know, so, I know, but I have, you know, people. I'm don't writing write. two books, y'all. Okay. Yeah. And I'm also, I, you know what? But for the longest, I was really stuck on what I wanted to do because my mind literally, like, I'll be having five different creative projects that I want to do mm-hmm. and be stuck on which one to start. And so I decided I'm going to do it all. Yeah, You know, I have two books in mind that um, one is more so involved with, like, love, relationship for black men specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And then the other one is more so like a fantasy, Afro fantasy, yeah. um, and I, that's Wakanda, right? Wakanda, <laughs> something you know along that could be next to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. okay. And are you still going to be uh, drawing those? Definitely, sexy photos, those I sexy, am. Um, I'm doing a lot. Drawings. more. I, I I balance a lot around more spiritual things and then more like. I love I love images of black men in love um, mm-hmm. because we don't see that type of art out a lot. Mm-hmm. And whenever I see it, it's got to be a black man with another white man or something. Mm-hmm. And to me, Ooh, I'm like, right. I just feel like, <laughs> okay, those images Mercy. actually affected me when I was younger. Mm-hmm. And I thought that to be gay means that I'm going to have to be with a white man. Mm-hmm. My brother thought I was going to be with a white man because that's what they also saw. Like, yeah. if there was a black gay man, he was dating a white man. Yeah. So I want to write stories and I want to write, uh, I want to draw um, and paint. Mm-hmm. You know, black gay love. Yes. Okay. To sell. Yes. Yeah. Get your coin. Absolutely. Because <laughs> I, at the end of the day, I'm an artist. And friends, do not ask me for discounts. Uh, Listen, hello. If they're true friends, they if should. They should right. believe they in should my art. If you pay, pay, pay the, actually, you should be giving me extra. Right. Uh, <laughs> damn. I don't I'm know about playing. extra. I'm just playing. I'm just <laughs> playing. Market price. <laughs> <laughs> not market Listen, price. Invest in me. Right. right. Give you a tip or two. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm interested in knowing um, how this whole creative process with hashtag Slick Talk is going to help you in your future endeavors uh, moving forward creatively. Slick Talk Creative, has, I, I've said this before, but it has given me my voice back. Okay. Yeah. Aww. I went through a, pro- I was a very outspoken person, especially in college. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you were active at School down. president does not like me to this day. And, <laughs> right. and if I go back there, ooh, I'm going to make you hate me more. Ooh. Um I say. My but <laughs> I was very outspoken, but I got to a point in my life after I've gone through some pain, after mm-hmm. I lost my mom, that I became very stuck, complacent, and quiet. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of felt like I lost a part of my identity. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like one of my, like my mom was my anchor, and right. I just felt mm-hmm. like that was gone, and I was trying to figure out who I was. Mm-hmm. And in that moment, I just kind of like, I just kind of retreated from a lot. Mm-hmm. And now, I mean, when when we started doing Slick Talk, it's like we, I started speaking about things that I only spoke to people about in college. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't have these conversations on day to day because people are more li- more likely want to talk about stuff that happens on TV, mm-hmm. or they want to talk about things that happen within themselves. Mm-hmm. So uh, I find myself participating, even though I was not interested. Yeah. But Slick Talk gave me back those conversations. It mm-hmm. gives me back. Um, it gave me back, I guess, thinking about things that matter mm-hmm. in society with um, us and like in a concept, you know, as a concept. So mm-hmm. that to me has been a great gift. I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful for like you know, the three seasons I had with y'all. Yes. yes. Yeah. A lot of work. A lot. A lot of work. And it, also that's another thing that inspired me because the work that takes – to make Slick Talk happen mm-hmm. all the time. <laughs> listen, it's something listen. I'm like, okay, I but can I run my own business. Yeah. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> I don't really have to apologize at times because I know I'll be like getting in my little feelings. Listen, oh, yes. Like, listen, y'all. And Ray be like, them essays for. I know, <laughs> next minute, I know Ray be, both no, of them gonna, probably rolling their eyes I like, said, I'm uh, back to here, go no. Justin. <laughs> But it's like every season there has to be one of the sex messages, and I'm just like, my God! <laughs> but, listen, but I live. That's that, but that's an experience it that is, you'll be able to take. No, and like, no, even though like we're friends, mm-hmm. we're also in a way business partners. Absolutely. No, absolutely. And we have difference of opinions. We have different way of doing things, but we still come together and make this happen. Well, it's gonna be exactly. interesting with just two people now. Uh, I mean, Sorry, we don't know where we're gonna well, go. The, well, right now we it's have still up people, in the so air. We have, yeah. like, we have like a like if y'all two agree on yeah. something, we yeah. gotta go forward with it. But I mean, the thing yeah. about, I mean, just the sidebar, because I know this episode is about Ray, but since he brought it up, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like a debate. Like if somebody calls out a situation or, or they have a certain the time, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't call me out or anything. Mm-hmm. But I just, just want to say that it's not going to be as difficult because for the most part, Dev and I are normally on the same page. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It, won't, it and won't be I, difficult. It, yeah, it won't be difficult. And y'all don't start DM, DMing us trying to audition to take, nobody taking <laughs> no, Ray Bay spot. Not yet. No. But anyway, <laughs> but yeah, anyway. So but yeah. So are you are you gonna get a website started? And I am. Okay. I, let me tell you, I have a lot of people that are on my ass. Like, where's the website? Where's this? Where's that? But I'm mm. definitely I have that into works. 
I'm still fighting, you know, that I'm still fighting myself because I'm a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. So I probably won't announce everything till it's ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to announce it? Like, um, definitely over Instagram. I'm going to get on Twitter. I'm going to build a following. I'm going to start doing a lot of drawings and stuff Mm -hmm. to see to for people to see like what what you're going to be looking into. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pretty much, but um, also been fighting. Like I feel like sometimes my writing side and my and the drawing, drawing yeah. be competing with each other. Me fighting, I feel guilty if I pick one over the other. Do you like one more than the other? I've never did. No, um, I think I've dr- I've been drawing more mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. most of my life, but I've also been a st- storyteller most mm-hmm. of my life, and I think I did a lot of stuff. St- a lot of that through art because I never really sat down. I mean, I have in college. Like, we had to do, not just college, but in high school also, you had to do, like, short stories for things. Mm-hmm. However, um, something that I can publish that's solely from my mind, mm-hmm. that's something that I'm really looking into doing, and I want to inc- I want to marry the two. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I remember we had a conversation where you said you wanted to do a book of like short stories yes not to you know give out what yeah. you want to do but said you want to do a book of short stories Definitely. and possibly have some create some uh co-writers can be a part yes of that i do well i'm still gonna you know absolutely I, no I because you know what i love i i want um people <laughs> i don't want just my point of view to come through mm. i think it's important to show that even within the black gay life mm-hmm. um and what even pe- people can identify as the same thing they have different viewpoints on things yeah and then it's very important to see where that comes from and also important to see the diversity within that specific um intersection yeah so yes i definitely for a lot of projects that i have i want other people to participate even if you're a consultant or even like another writer Mm -hmm. i think more of us come together the more we can make something even better i completely agree i mean look what we made with uh slick talk Talk. yeah you know this is definitely a journey a beautiful journey and we'll we'll keep people abreast that follow our page too. yes let people know like oh ray babe uh website is up yeah i i will say that this is the most consistent i've been Mm -hmm. um i started writing um a book i want to say over thanksgiving okay and just i showed my i showed my family like the beginning part of it Mm -hmm. and i mean they're like uh they're they're here for it did you finish the rest of the 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 chapter because i'm ready (laughs) right i feel like you i feel like the type of writer and what i've seen and how you kind of like um are able to deliver your words Mm -hmm. is uh the type of writing that would get people to start reading again Mm -hmm. yeah you know what i'm saying because i don't think people you know, especially when they do short stories, short stories now because people are so just really fast in their thinking and everything yeah. like that. I think you would be the type of writer to get people to. I mean, the reason you know. why I want to do short stories too, I think um, people's um, attention span is not as yeah. <laughs> right. They they want something yeah. quick, quick, you fast know? and witty. But also short stories, budget wise too. Like if a um, a network want to pick up the book and make yeah. movies out of you know little short movies out of it, or it could be mm-hmm. YouTube. Yeah. Mm-hmm. we could take that and like make get, a listen show. get your coin absolutely exactly. but i mean there are the bigger you know books that i have in mind but to mm. get started um one sure. tip that i did get from a writer is definitely start with short stories mm-hmm. it's kind of like working out you know you gotta mm-hmm. start absolutely you know gotta, gotta be it's beginner like before. Ex- it's like exercise it's like exercise yeah, yeah. Well, to well, wrap it up do you have any final words to the listeners to i appreciate all the love um i've appreciated i mean just slick talk and i appreciate you guys mm. so much don't make me uh, cry <laughs> right i was like this is our last I recording do. together i really do and i've enjoyed myself mm. and this process and but but I think now it's I'm Ready really going to follow chapter. like things that are very dear to my heart. Yeah. This show has been very dear to my heart, but it's not something that I thought of as like, yeah. you know, I guess a passion before. Yeah. It, mm. I just had a lot of passion towards it. But yeah. Right. right, right. No, I get that. Yeah. And I do. And uh, me and Dev can wrap it up real mm-hmm. fast and say some words to you, too, is I just really appreciate Like I said in the beginning, I just really appreciate your contribution towards this podcast. Mm-hmm. I love the fact that you're you're not black and white like i could be very black and white at time and say no it's like this or no it's like that you you kind of have show some gray area and like no justin this is what it is and i just appreciate that other perspective Aww. i would miss mm-hmm. that 
perspective. It's not going to be completely gone. We're still friends. Right, right. <laughs> you ain't, not like you just, like, you ain't going right. nowhere. So we'll still have our conversations, just right. not, you know, online. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah. you'll be missed on the podcast, but, you know, you'll be definitely there. missed on the podcast. Like, oh. like, I, to JB's point, like, I think the three of us bring very specific mm-hmm. uh, attributes to mm-hmm. this that just makes this work mm-hmm. almost seamless, seem- seemingly. Mm-hmm. Um, and your you have like the the logic component, like you have mm-hmm. the like you see things three hundred and sixty mm-hmm. and are able to like present it in a way that's like okay, let's look at it like this. You know exactly. what I mean? And I, I'm really going to miss that. Yeah. I'm going to miss your presence, period, oh, on yeah. the show. Um, like JB said, we're still going to be going out and shit together. So it's yeah. not like, I'm not exactly. going to see you anymore. But exactly. um, And I know the listeners are going to miss you too. Because oh, I know you got you got a, a Ray Bay um, cult. Right. So <laughs> no, they do be loving Ray Bay too. Right, right. Somebody but you know, hit like, me up. I'm going to still, you know, for the merch, you yeah. know, I, I'll definitely, I got y'all on Absolutely, that. Yes. Um, but I'm definitely, yeah, I think Thank you Absolutely. a lot. Thank yes. you so much. Absolutely. Thank you so Thank much. You. And Cheers then you can see that 360 Ray perspective Bay. in my writing. Yes. yes. Oh, damn. We need to get some, Why we didn't bring no champagne? Okay. That's well, true. Well, I guess we need to go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, cheers to Ray. Cheers to Ray, babe. Yeah. And this is the last episode of the year. This, this is, is our the last finale. Episode of the so this year. is the best way to, Absolutely. Best way. to yes. end it. So end so it happy on New Year, happy you guys. Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. See y'all season four at some point in the spring yeah um and yeah and just live your best life y'all yeah for one last time bye no (laughs) one last time this is Deb the Coolest coolest. and this is Ray Bay and this is JB and And welcome to Hashtag Slick Bitch (laughs) (laughs) okay bye you guys bye bye Bye, we love y'all see you Ray (laughs) This episode of Hashtag Slick Talk was brought to you in part by Nexus Recording Studio. If you're looking for a place to record your next EP or your podcast, please check out Nexus Recording Studio, where the bay records. Oh, where the bay records. Oh, where the bay records.